<laughs> so sad. Lying on a mattress in Memphis, Missouri. I'm gonna die. Onion nuggets. Here are ten animals that are poorly designed. Oh, that's the first one. I'm gonna get some heat for this one. Horse. Hopefully Taylor's not watching right now. I mean, I kind of agree. They're for, poor spindly legs. They, they're just like unsalvageable if their legs get hurt and their legs are very prone to injury. So yeah, it's it's really difficult for horses. I actually know something about horses because my wife is obsessed with them. She's not a horse. Not, well, she's not like one of those people. But you know, horses uh, actually came from North America, and they were actually really small because at the time we had mainly we didn't have grasslands. So we mainly had uh, dense forest. But they actually were really small animals. Yep. I mean, and you know, you can see some of those, Paul, not even that far from you. The Brea Tar Pit has uh, at least like some models displaying what early horses looked like. They're like, they're like this. Yeah, little proto horses. Yeah, they're like little, they're, they're little guys. They weren't very big. Uh, they're beautiful animals, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't deny that they've got some design flaws. Um, we think about horse attributes. One of the first thing that comes to mind is speed. Horses are built for it, bred for it, even used as a measurement of how fast and powerful a car is. We as a species chose, bonded with, and selectively bred these animals to be fast and strong. Uh, so you think that they would be physically well suited to running, jumping, and pulling. Unfortunately for the horse, they got the short straw when it comes to their physicality. Uh, they can get up to 80 to 89 kilometers an hour. That's 50 to 55 for normal humans. Um, rough, roughly twice the top speed of a human being. But it comes at a cost. A horse that runs at that speed for more than a few minutes experiences bleeding in its lungs and throat. Oh fuck, dude! I mean, Taylor, body, I'm sorry, but that that this these horses sound like more fucked up than a football bat. Yeah, their bodies are built for speed and power, yet they're, they're incredibly fragile. When horses exercise too hard or too long, they develop exercise intolerance, causes their very breath to hurt them. Pressure on their lungs from gasping for air while running breaks blood vessels and causes them to cough up blood. <clears throat> oh. Poor horses. Definitely fucking koala. Design, though. I mean, uh, of course, you know, <laughs> these animals really aren't designed, but, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess by natural processes. Yeah, evolution, you know, ha has some work to do on these animals, I think. Uh, koalas. Yeah, I've heard, like, they're very cute. But I've heard that they are clinically insane. Dude, they're yeah, not. Dude. They're not smart like you would think they are. They're you mean like, too. I've heard they're yeah. mean ass motherfuckers. Like koalas will fuck you up if they get the opportunity. I've heard they're stupid and mean and really annoying. Actually, yeah. I've heard that the like the noises they make are really piercing and annoying. <laughs> it's a boy too. On the other hand, koalas. They have nothing. In addition to having small, smooth brains, which rob them of the ability to accomplish uh, complex tasks and being incredibly picky eaters who only consume poison, uh, eucalyptus leaves. <laughs> I only eat poison. Um, yeah. Uh, koalas have the single rooted set of small, jagged teeth. Over time, the tough, fibrous leaves of the eucalyptus plants wear down those teeth all the way to the gum line, unable to eat the leaves and unwilling to consume anything else, the koala then starves. Oh my God, they're little retards. They're cute retards, but they're definitely retards. Like, my teeth are ground down. What should I do now? Die. Maybe I should try some of this fruit over there. Nah, my brain's not big enough for that. <laughs> yeah, death. I'm just going to keep looking for leaves until I die of starvation. What a what horrible a way to go to, man. It's like you just... You, it's like it's like you know like, like why can't it happen to someone like brett king dude he, you know he lost all his teeth he just can't gum any more cheeseburgers down <laughs> it's like I'm just, wouldn't I'm that be nice situation. i'm just dead i'm all can't eat no burritos no more i'm just dead in the situation just imagine the manatee sitting by a tree like what am i supposed to do and what am I supposed to eat in a situation? I can't chew nothing no more. Uh, if only, man. If only. My dad knocked out all my teeth when I was 12 <laughs> years old. You know? I don't know how to eat. I could see it.
Actually, no, I can't see it. Brett will always find something to eat. <laughs> no, dude, that motherfucker will. Yeah, like, dude, he'll gum his way to any food. Come on. Dude, that motherfucker, like, the last time we looked at him, he had, like, a half two liter of uh, off-brand root beer sitting on his desk. <laughs> dude, he'll and find was... a way to get those calories. That's true. You know what? Because a modern Americans drink so much shit, It's like, yeah, it's like, he'll never die. He'll just gum down whatever he, he can gum and dude fast food is number one is mostly soft like taco bell to him is probably the biggest challenge he eats you know my fucking taco bell but i mean you can yeah, gum down too, a bean burrito and oh hell yeah dude you that's gummy food right there and you can just drink your calories you know drink fucking 50 what was it dad's root beer so some shit like that <laughs> oh man i genuinely have not thought of that toothless in depth for a little while and, i don't know uh, why that just that, that just thought of it i don't know for some reason my brain's like this reminds me of brett dude i can imagine brett just being on a, hanging off a tree just like <laughs> or am i supposed to do <laughs> it's like i don't know eat something else bitch there's all these apples laying everywhere but not a drop to eat in the situation <laughs> he's a koala he's not even a manatee he's a dumbass little fucking koala oh shit. god damn it um the ocean sun uh, sunfish yeah i can look at this animal and know that it lives a, a life of suffering <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, fuck, uh, uh, i don't know a thing about it we're about to learn but just looking at this fish lets me know <laughs> like look at it what am i <laughs> oh, please <laughs> Dude, it's like it's like they took two ant like, 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 like two types of fish and they put them in like and then they put like a some like you know, like you know it's like in the fly and they transport it and it comes out the other side it's like kill me what am I the I'm a is, monster what the fuck is this thing dude it looks like a I don't even know I mean it's a fish clearly but why is it so fat and bloated looking god how did i offend thee to be created in such a horrible form uh the ocean sunfish aka the mola is one of those rare animals that serves no purpose on this earth <laughs> <laughs> maybe i was wrong maybe this is brett <laughs> it's definitely brett dude <laughs> well look dude they're all kind of they're all kind of brett dude he used to, he's the stallion <laughs> that's true he's definitely got some koala like tendencies of not being able to help himself yeah he's an ugly he's as a sunfish a, he's a sunfish for sure he serves no purpose <laughs> this animal literally serves no purpose you don't say <laughs> like really huh i mean they, they just, shades of brett they're strange looking with their large eyes and lips and their inability to close their mouths due to their strange teeth the gum down fast food when given to it. <laughs> uh, it's just it's the breadfish. <laughs> I call me the sunfish. <laughs> sunfish in the situation. They call me the sun king. I got no purpose on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh bread. Oh uh, always we, found, we found your spirit animal. Yeah, we did. In addition, they're exceptionally vulnerable to parasites. <laughs> is it a par is it a, it looks like a giant parasite, dude? It does. Yeah, dude. It looks like it would attach itself to a whale's dick and just like suck the blood out of it for the rest of its life. Got any more chiller? <laughs> yeah, give me some of whale cum in a situation. No cheese. Um, this unfortunate creature. <laughs> <laughs> It's worse. It's unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate creature, dude. Oh my god. Unfortunate creature. Oh, unfortunate creature. <laughs> so sad. Lying on a mattress in Memphis, <laughs> Missouri. I'm dying. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. Track so well. It's like, oh. it's like it was written for it. <laughs> this unfortunate creature also lacks a swim bladder, an important organ that nearly all fish possess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to help them float. Yeah. Dude. 
<laughs> he la- Brett lacks the drive to better himself. That's his swim bladder. That's what most people do. Um, <laughs> in fact, the only reason the sunfish continues to exist is because it lays three million, three hundred million eggs. <laughs> Oh my god, the most useless creature on the planet, and it's so f- prolific. Oh my god, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, that's okay. I don't think this is going to be a Brett-like. I don't think the cheetah is going to be Brett-like. No, I, I like how it's like, the only reason the sunfish exists is it just lays 300 million eggs at once. <laughs> Drops a couple of water heads in a situation. <laughs> Can't float though. <laughs> Son, I'm sorry to tell you, you won't be able to float, but you can fucking come a lot. Unfortunately, you're a sunfish. We got no purpose on this earth, and we are unfortunate <laughs> creatures. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, oh, fuck. All right. Uh, cheetah. <laughs> Um, even though we love them, we're a little afraid of cheetahs because we equate them to the lion. The cheetahs, sharp claws, sharp teeth, incredible speed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what's wrong with them? Fortunately for us, we don't have to worry too much about them because cheetahs are known for another trait as well, severe anxiety. Oh, I mean, it is British. <laughs> Can't go outside because my anxiety in this situation. <laughs> it is Brett, dude. Holy shit. Uh, especially in captivity, cheetahs are horribly stressed out just by existing. They have trouble sh- socializing and breeding. It's gotten to the point that zoos around the world have started giving cheetahs their own support dogs. Oh, my God. They need emotional attachment animals. I've heard, so- too, that sometimes cheetahs have daggers stuck in their doors. Oh, that's yeah. Why so- that's why they're so anxious, dude. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be anxious? I you... mean, yeah, you're in captivity. But, but, <laughs> a, a, Someone sticks a dagger in your cage door. You're like, what's going on? <laughs> you wake up in the morning and a bejeweled dagger is in your door with a, a death threat note attached to it. I mean, who wouldn't? Find... <laughs> you know, who would see snake? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this one's British. We're back on the Brett train. Um, sea snakes are exactly what their name suggests. Yeah, we know. Uh, in fact, sneeze, 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 useless animals only thing they can drink is dad's root beer yeah dude (laughs) fruit juice dad's root beer that's all i can drink (laughs) the only thing that goes down smooth (laughs) look i love surrounded by water and shit but i can't touch the can't touch the stuff (laughs) stuff will make me sick never touch the stuff in the situation this also applies to tj the motherfucker will not drink water to save his Life. Yeah. <laughs> Tubbs, dude. It was. It was Tubbs root beer, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Yeah, Tubbs. Tubbs. Oh, f- what a nightmare. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, the giant squid. I mean, there's no way he's going to. There's, there's, I mean, that's. There's no way. But that's way too cool of an animal. When it rains on the ocean, the less dense fresh water sits on top, floating over the more dense salt water of the sea. When this happens, sea snakes are free to drink as much as they can. However, as rains happen infrequently out there on the waves, poor sea snakes spend much of their time thirsty. The point of dehydration. Oh, just no matter how much this root beer I drink, I, keep on. I never feel like my, my thirst is slaked. Don, get me some sunny day. I need another two liter in here, bitch. <laughs> you must imagine his ass drinking some sunny day like this is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, it's like 30 much. grams of sugar a serving, but sure. <laughs> uh, my doctor said that I got to cut back on a soda situation, so pull my wife and go get me some good fresh fruit juice named Sunny D. 
Dude, that was like some 90s marketing shit. Remember as a kid, I totally bought that shit in the 90s. So like, Mom, Sunny D is good for you. My mom's like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure it is, kid. Well, how could it be my friend? There's a sun right there on the package. And it's a <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck me. Giant squid. Oh, God. Yeah, I agree with this one. This is a horrifying thing that exists. Oh, yeah, dude, this is just like, that's something you do not want to see. Now, I mean, fortunately, they live, they live pretty far down. Uh, this creature is, yeah, we know it's big and terrifying. Uh, it has one fatal design flaw. Its throat runs directly through its brain. Uh, yeah, that might be a little bit, uh, <laughs> might be a little difficult. Its throat runs through its fuck. So if it's something too big, it can destroy its brain. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Yeah, if they eat something too big, swallowing prey will give the squid brain damage <laughs> as the bulge passes through its brain. Dude, Brett has a kindred kindred spirit in every one of these animals so far, dude. No, dude, let's imagine Brett eating like a fucking something dangerous and it's like, oh, Brett, Brett with my fucking brain. Oh, dude, Brett eats chili that's too hot. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you now, Brett. I'm gonna break your fucking brains in. I scrabble scrabbled my brain, Brett. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, yeah. So they can kill themselves eating too much, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, the Capico, ca, 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 yeah, Cacapo bird. Yeah. This one looks kind of British, so I'm thinking. Uh, imagine for a minute you could only hook up with someone based on how many berries were ripe on the bushes around your house. <laughs> Do you have any berries and cream for me? That's how I got born. I just planted some planted some blackberries, and I caught her out there just you know, dripping with the juices one day, and... That's it. She had to take care of me for the rest of her life. Oh, yeah. And she had to be a waitress while I sat around my fan ass YouTube videos. Oh, God. Um, Consider a sacred bird by local Maori populations. The kakapo is an absolute mystery of evolution. Flightless, nocturnal. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits around its room all day, staring at its screen. <laughs> With massive thighs for climbing trees. <laughs> oh, and it's fat too. These birds have no defense against predators such as weasels, cats, atheists, and Muslims. <laughs> Vote bots. Vote bots. <laughs> They're all fucking bread, dude. I don't know, dude. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. I'm I, I had no intention of the list to be like this, but like every time we've read something, I'm like, okay, hey, this one can't be. Okay, it is. Like, okay, all right. Oh, fair enough. Oh, man. The they need mail. to rename this the Brett Keen <laughs> animal it list. It really is, dude. I didn't even realize it, but it is. Did you the pull mail. this ball or is this TJ? Yeah. yeah this <laughs> you want, you want to yeah. intentionally pull the Brett well, segment? You, 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 Amelia actually is the one that found this. All right, one. well, she gets credit for the Brett segment then. Yeah, that's too that's too fucking much, dude. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, Surely this has got to be the combo breaker. Yeah, this has got to be the one. Uh what you may not know uh, about great whites cuz you know they're big and scary. We'll skip that first paragraph. What you may uh not know, oh wait, they have to keep moving to breathe. Got it. Uh this applies even when the great white is sleeping thanks to being uh obligate ram ventilators. The Great white sharks have to keep water moving through and over the gills at times. To make up for this, they have a unique way of sleeping. They lie in the current with their mouths open. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> look, Brett. <laughs> look, look, Dorn. I've, I've got to get calories when even when I'm asleep. I'm going to no. sleep with my mouth wide open. <laughs> you can dump the sunny day in as much as you want. Pass the sunny D through my throat while I'm sleeping. Look, I have that CPAP machine. I might as well get some use out of it. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Even the fucking great white. Even the fucking great white has a Brett quality to it. 
<laughs> oh my god whales i mean i uh, mean know. yeah this one <clears throat> um, this way i don't even think we have to get into it but uh the oldest known ancestor of the whale is in in Dof- indoyus a creature that looked a bit like a spotted anteater along the way this animal returned to the water evolving new and interesting aquatic traits however it did not shed its mammalian characteristics the new fish-like creature would eventually become a whale and the dolphin still needed to breathe air and have lungs instead of gills both terrible traits to have when you look like a fish eh okay i mean eh. but just just the overall whale comparison yeah, fits. sure i mean yeah of course and he's he's definitely sad <laughs> yeah, this, one, yeah, this one he qualifies for 100 percent. yep um yeah our, uh, so let's see what's wrong with us our brains aren't perfect but we're intelligent yeah yeah we get it for one thing our feet are made of 26 separate bones left over from our primate days this makes our feet incredibly fragile and unnervingly easy to damage as they were originally meant for gripping and had the help of our hands supporting their weight yeah our ankles are uh fragile and turn outward at the slightest provocation to the point that even stepping wrong can sprain or break them. Uh, Our spines, I know this for a fucking fact, are not built uh, for the burden they carry. A myriad of curves and strange proportions lead to back problems as early as our 20s, most inevitably by our 40s and 50s. We also have the misfortune of giving birth to live young whose heads and torsos are larger than our birth canals. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Yeah, we get it. We suck. Humans f- suck. We're a goddamn mystery. We're unfortunate creatures. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of our primate uh, cousins and shit would you would also bounce themselves with their hands, so they it bounce that load out. You know, unfortunately for us, like we get that, that that's one thing about being human that is so bizarre because it's true. You can literally step slightly wrong and sprain your fucking ankle. I've done it before. It's like not even like I'm running around or I'm jumping over some or doing something crazy. Just literally oh, yeah. put your foot down. You're just like, ow. Yeah, it's just like, rolls. It's like, okay, I guess my dude. The funniest shit I ever saw was someone uh, was actually TJ though. Like we we lived in Mississippi in like an area called Diamond Head, and TJ, you know, TJ's not very athletically inclined. I mean, he's a big guy, but he's not. And like the house we lived in. Like there was a driveway and there was like and they got kind of narrow and there was like a bunch of like it was like monkey grass and like a, like a small bush, and for some reason TJ would normally just walk the path, but he's like he he's like I'm gonna jump over this, and I've never seen someone get so injured with making like the most pathetic small jump. We're talking maybe like a two foot jump, like maybe and slightly elevated. TJ did it and lands and is like, ah! motherfuckers like just writhing in fucking pain. I guess to like limp back into the house. Like he was gonna go somewhere, couldn't even go. Like limp back in. And because he had made a small jump, he tore two f-ing ligaments. And look, TJ was a big, fat, f-ing lazy, and sh- but in my opinion, making a two foot jump, you shouldn't f- yourself up or like you tear ligaments in your f-ing foot. No. I said, I mean, we got, do you know, you know, another thing too, it's crazy. It's like when they have to, like, if they intubate you and give you air, they have to like, go the right way to your lungs or it goes to your stomach and literally it just would explode. We were like wow. a f-ing shit show, dude. We were a total f-ing shit show of an animal. Yeah, we really are. We're a nightmare. <laughs> 